Why do you think that organi religious organizations in the UK and the United States receive tax exempt status? You've written ex uh, extensively <laughs> about that because if you actually took all your fans around the world and created the Richard Dawkins fan club to worship you, you wouldn't receive tax exempt status. Well, I'm not so sure. I mean, <laughs> what do you actually have to do to qualify to be a religion? I, I suspect you probably could. Um, <laughs> Just say I'm a, I'm the Church of Richard Dawkins, and I'm, I'm the Rev as a fact, I am the Reverend. I've got a certificate in my downstairs lavatory to prove it. Um, somebody sent me, somebody registered me as a Reverend in the United Life Church of Christ or something. And all you have to do is pay five dollars, and, and 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 that's what you what you get. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, on the other hand, I just um, I, a few years ago I, I started a couple of, of foundations, the Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science and in both in Britain and in America. And the British Charity Commission, which decides whether a charity mm -hmm. counts as for tax relief, wrote me a letter saying, would you please explain how science benefits humanity? <laughs> <laughs> if I had said I was a church, they would not have asked any questions at all. Mm -hmm. would have gone straight through. In America, it's even worse because not only do churches automatically get charitable status, but they also are exempt from even having to report their financial details, which is astonishing. I mean, I cannot imagine how that ever got through any kind of congressional vote, but apparently it did, and it's very hard to get it to get it repealed. And I would encourage all of you to, I don't know, write your congressman and things to try to get that that changed because it's a most extraordinary anomaly that tax-exempt status is automatically given to, to ch churches, um, presumably on the b belief, which is not at all well-founded, that, that churches always do a lot of good. I mean, quite clearly, many of them don't. It's not even clear that all of them do. Uh, but it, but it, it, it's a most extraordinary thing that this, this privileged status has managed to survive for so long. And there doesn't seem to be any immediate prospect of changing it and unless you guys get do something.